Got my Articac 600 ZL. I'm replacing this whole mechanism because the E stop is broken. It ran and it runs without it. Um, but uh, from what I understand and reading the manual, with the E5, you want to use the emergency stop to turn off the. Uh, I guess fuel cut off. I'm not sure. I forget what that what that ties into. But anyway, you want to be able to charge your electronics on the first pull, and then you disengage the emergency stop, and then start the Articat. Based on what I've heard and what I've read, so I'm replacing this whole mechanism. Um, took the grip off. I had to use a heat gun. Uh, pulled it right off. I tried air but it was leaking out and I didn't really have the right nozzle so then I removed the heating element I used uh, I also used the heat gun heat, heated it up and then I just took a screwdriver and kind of pulled it back it was probably actually like that and then uh, I was able to peel it off without damaging um, the heating element I tested the heating element uh, one circuit's 8 ohms, the other one is 13 ohms, so it's still good. I'm going to try to reuse that, and I took, there's a screw there you got to loosen up that holds it tight on the handlebars, and then the um, throttle cable, there's a, you just kind of pull it away, grab it with the pliers, the cable, and then it comes out of this part right there. And then you have to feed the cable down through. And there's a small little clip there that you have to remove off the end of there. Don't lose that. That's kind of tricky. And then you slide it off and uh, put the new one on. Uh, I think I paid like 50, 50 some bucks, 55 probably. 60 was shipping so I tested this circuit it works uh, I tested the switch works let's see uh, I'm pretty sure I, I think I tested the hand war uh, thumb warmer on this one uh, appears my thumb warmer doesn't work on the old one so you know some of those things may or may not work there's probably a way to just replace the circuit by removing those screws um, I looked at the emergency stop circuit and it's in there it's kind of locked in there there's probably a way to take it out so if somebody has a video on that or if there are any questions let me know or if i missed something i'm just uh new to this sleds i've worked on mowers quite a bit you can see a john deere 345 sitting over there that one runs actually just got to put it all back together anyway thanks for watching stay tuned